Happy Monday, you beautiful creatures. Thank you so much for joining me again on one of this glorious Monday of all Mondays, days, days, days. Yeah. For today's Monday video, we always do a Monday warm up, a mindful Monday, Monday affirmation, and today we're actually focusing on more theater stuff. Last week, I kind of jumped into the aspect of play, the most glorious thing you could ever learn for yourself. And today, we're going to focus on characterization. So the methods of characterization are actually pretty fulfilling if you don't even use them for a character. If you use them for everyday life, maybe you don't know what you want your next step in life to be, this can help you out. But I'm mostly gonna be talking about how you can use this for characters, either ones that you're creating or ones that you've been given or cast in. How to properly develop a character. That is our focus today. Now, when it comes to writers, Angelica does an amazing video, which you can see, it'll be linked down below, on how to develop your character as a writer. Now, this is mostly the actor's perspective. So if you are not a writer, if you don't do any sort of creative writing in that sense. This is for the total right brain actor's perspective of character development. And we are going to be referring to my good friend Uta Hagen for this. Uta Hagen is an amazing woman and an amazing teacher, an amazing actress who developed these six steps so that you can develop your character properly. Now you're not only developing the character, right? You're getting to know your character. If you're cast in a role, you need to know your character inside and out. So that way, if your director adds something random in or takes creative liberty, you can completely understand and know how that character would react to a different situation. Even in blocking, if something random goes wrong on stage, like you spill a glass, and now it goes everywhere, would your character be nice enough to clean it up? Would they make the other person clean it up? Or would you just leave it there because you know someone else is going to clean it up for you? Whatever it may be, how would your character react to some strange situation that you weren't expecting? When I teach students the six steps, I always say it's a simpler form of method acting. Method acting, yes, it it can be safe if you do it properly, but sometimes it becomes unhealthy for an actor. We've seen it in many instances. So today we're just going to be showing a less intensive version, a more mindful and written down version. But I want to explain a little bit further who Udo Hagen is so you don't think I'm just taking some random person's six steps. Udo Hagen is an amazing German-American actress and theater practitioner. She was the original cast of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf as Martha. And if you do theater, you should know who she is. Edward Albee, the writer of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, actually referred to Uta Hagen as a profoundly thoughtful actress. And if you've read any of her books, you'd understand why. Uta Hagen wrote Respect for Acting and A Challenge for the Actor. She sadly passed away at the age of 84, but not before showering us with the greatness of her theater techniques. She is one of the people that you should refer to at any point in time in your theater or acting career, period. Even if you're going into a new environment full of people and you want to reinvent yourself, follow the six steps. The six steps are so important because you can understand your character much better than you ever could have possibly understood them before. They're extremely detailed and they help you to actually realize why your character does what they do. What are their obstacles? What are their blocks? What are their wants, needs? What's going on? Who are you? Who, who is this person that you are going to be portraying? Now, why would an improv teacher be talking about six steps? When you do improv, you, you don't have time to write down in detail and discover this character that you're only showing off for maybe three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes at most. Well, because you can use these six steps while the process is going on. You've got three minutes to tell the entire story of a character, their backstory, who the person with them is, if they're alone, what's going on with this character, what are their problems, what do they have to overcome? So step number one, who am I? When you're trying to develop a character, 
Who are they? What is your present state of being? How do you perceive yourself? What are you wearing? What do you smell like? What's going on, guys? Take me for example. If I walked into a room, I would be that girl who has green and brown hair and she's got an improv shirt on. Man, I wonder if she's a teacher. She wears glasses. Obviously, she's not that good at seeing unless if she's wearing them for style. She wears this darker shade of lipstick. Why? Does she just like darker colors or is it because it complements her skin? She's very pale. She must not go out in the sun too much. Maybe she lives in a cooler state. Who are you? And these are very simple versions of these steps that I'm giving you. Again, and Jugga goes into much more detail about who a character is. This is just the basis of these steps. So step number two is quite a doozy because it's it's pretty lengthy, I'm not gonna lie to you. The reason why it's so lengthy is because it it's details. You need to know your character inside and out without fully becoming their character. You need to create their as ifs. And as if is, a, if I was a king, how would I treat people? Well, I might treat them like my dogs. I might treat them like ants. I might treat them like just pets, plain old pets, and that's the kind of king that I might be. Because I never talked down to anyone like that before. I hope no one's ever talked down to anyone like that before. But you need to learn your as-ifs so that you can fully understand your character. So step two, what are my circumstances? What time is it? I need the year, season, is it hot, cold, is it raining, snowing, what? What's going on? What time of day is it? When does life begin for this character? How far back do you need to go to understand this person? Where am I? What city, neighborhood, state, town, country are you in? Where are you from? Where are you now? What room are you in? What room are you going to be in? Why are you going to be in that room? You need to debunk all of these things. What surrounds me? What is your immediate landscape? Right now, I'm sitting on a couch and there is a unicorn behind me with a taco. Why? Who knows? And lastly, what are my immediate circumstances? What just happened? What has happened? And what is going to happen? You need to be able to predict all of these things as your character or predict how your character would feel about these things happening. Number three, what are my relationships? Family, friends, dogs, cats, teachers, acquaintances, lovers, whatever it is, whoever these people are to you, what is your relationship to them? Even if it's a relationship to an object, there's an amazing show called Blue Orange, and it's about a man who is schizophrenic and he's being debated over by a psychologist and a psychiatrist if he should be released yet. Now, within this show, he blows his nose and as he throws away the tissue, he says goodbye. So what relationship did he have with that tissue? Is it because now his DNA is on it? Why would he say goodbye to a piece of tissue paper? Think about it. Relationships are also with the place you're in. Why are you in this place? Did you grow up here? Did you have to move here for a certain reason? Are you in this place because there's something you need to do? Why are you here? Why are you here in this moment, in this time? Why do you need to be there later? What people are related to your circumstances? Four, what do I want? Wants. Wants are much different than needs. A need can actually get into conflict with your want. So I want a cherry soda, but I need to drink water for my health. What's in the way? My health. So what do I want is your main objective. My main objective is I want cherry soda. My immediate need or objective, my need is that I need to drink water, but my objective is I'm gonna find a way to drink that soda. Number five, what is my obstacle? We talk about obstacles all the time in theater and TV and film. You, you have an obstacle in your way. Let's go back to the previous example. I want cherry soda but I'm not healthy, so I need to drink water. What's in my way? My health, myself. I am in my own way because I didn't take care of myself before. So what is in the way of what you want and how do you overcome it? If I eat healthier, then I can treat myself to a soda. Number six, what do I do to get what I want? How can I achieve my objective? What's my behavior? What are my actions? 
If my character is in love with someone who is currently with a partner, but you know that they're unhappy with that partner, so you want to take them away from this place, how do I get what I want? How do I achieve my objective of taking them away from their unhappy life and giving them all my love? What would my behavior be? Would it be manipulative or would it be from the heart? And what are my actions? Are they honest actions or are they evil actions? What would I do to get that objective obtained? And those are the six steps. So with all of those steps that I just gave you, you can completely achieve a clean, pristine, mint condition character. Now, like I said, Angelica did the perspective for writing, but this is in the perspective of the actor. These questions are broken down bit by bit, and I'm going to put them down in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on Instagram, unfortunately, it can't all fit in that description bar. But you hop over to YouTube and it's there for you. So all of these steps can create your well-rounded character, because without a well-rounded character, the audience becomes uninterested. You're missing pieces. You need to be able to overcome obstacles that you're given on stage. If your director asks you to do something that you yourself know is completely out of character, show them that it's out of character. Don't manipulate your character by just doing something they would never do before. And how would that character react to doing something that's completely out of their character? You have to think of these circumstances, objectives, wants, needs, desires. How would your character go about doing them? Now, when it comes to improvisation, you use these steps in a much simpler form. You basically just take their title questions and break them down. So I've got six questions that I need to answer. Who, what, when, where, why, and how, right? What are my wants? What are my desires? What's my objective for this scene? Do I have an objective for this scene? What's my relationship with the person next to me? If there's no relationship with the person across from you, the scene becomes 10 times more complicated. Now I have to make a relationship with this person. What is my obstacle? How do I overcome this obstacle? How do I get what I want? How do I achieve it? What's going on? And with all of that information I just gave you, that is how you use Uta Hagen's amazing six steps for character development. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. Don't forget to check in the description so that you can see all the six steps there waiting for you, waiting for you to love them, invent them, see them, go through them. Also check out the description for some things to educate yourselves on. Maybe someone needs a little bit extra help at this time. Go down there and check it out. We also are offering virtual classes still on www.thisisimprov.com. We're offering improv drop-in, writing drop-in. You can also take personal classes for acting or writing. And we're also doing team building. So again, www.thisisimprov.com. If you have any questions or suggestions for things that you wanna see, email us at info at thisisimprov.com. Also, I wanna see you guys comment down below what have you used these six steps for? What do you think you can use them for? What's a weird character you think would be fun to use these six steps on? Also, if there's anything else that you wanna learn more about on these Monday lessons, why don't you write that down below as well and we'll put it in our list. Again, I wanna say thank you, you beautiful creatures, for sticking with me to the end of the video. My name's Alexandra with This Is Improv. Thank you, everybody. Have a glorious Monday of Mondays. Goodbye. Hello everybody, my name is Alexandra. And I'm Angelica. And this is... Legends of Yesterday. Where we talk about histories, mysteries, and ghost stories of South Florida. And well, the she's only reason... trapped there. So it's like a purgatory kind of hell. What is around us then? It's really made Davy such a, such a special place.